now move the camera and show that different things are different objects here are in different 3d space the best way to move a camera is to parent it to a null object and a null object is just a layer that has no properties so I'm going to go to layer new null object and I like to put it right below my camera and I'm going to parent it to parent the camera to the null object so whatever whenever the camera moves or whenever the null object moves the camera moves and it's going to move based on the anchor point of the null object which is this point right here so usually when you create a null object it's going to be in the center so that is pretty helpful so if I rotate the null object here after making it 3D you can see how it is in uh, shows the things everything in 3D now if I do I can do the same thing with position if I move up and down the y-axis you can see how things are in 3D one of the ways people can tell is uh, by something called parallax and what that what that is is when something is in the back it's gonna move slower than when something is in the front because it's farther away from the camera so when I move up and down on the y-axis parallax is gonna cause the uh, text to move faster than the uh, object in the back as you can see there by that now when you have a camera here the the render is going to come out of your camera out of the view of the camera so this is the camera view this is what's going to be rendered not anything from the top view just from what you can see in front in the camera another um, another object that you can use within in 3d is a light so we can come up here to layer new light and um, these really work in 3d pretty decently and I'll go over these different points or go over these different uh, properties at a different time I hit OK to add this light in and now you can see that this light is affecting this 3d layer here this gives it more this can give it more of a 3d look and you can just move it around and if you want to rotate it you can rotate there's a uh, different types of lights new light and if we go to like a spotlight here okay you can see that it makes like a light that's a spotlight and that you can you can rotate it around and everything like that yeah like that and that's just uh, you can make cool looking 3d scenes with all this stuff I'll delete those now remember when I was talking about backgrounds and how you want to lock them and not make them 3d layers so I'm gonna unlock it real quick I'm gonna make the background a 3d layer now the background is right here in in the center we know that because of the red color there so it's going to cover up the object we had in the that was uh, back here so if I move the camera backwards now you can see that the background is shrinking now it's not a complete background anymore it's just all this extra space is gonna render out as black so the way to do that is to not make your background a 3d layer you can and I always lock it so you don't do something like this and move your background around the scene so lock it and that's pretty much the basics of setting up a 3d scene and how to tell that you're in 3d and use your views and everything to navigate around 3d so we'll get into more advanced effects and I'll explain everything a little better in uh, later tutorials so we can be professionals at using 3d scenes 
It's one of the main things that After Effects is known for and uh, other programs can't really do as well. So let's uh, end the tutorial now. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next ones.